Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a collective summer haul for you from a couple of places. Usually I do a haul video and I get you guys to help me pick which bits I like, which bits I don't, and then they get sent back. Today I actually am pretty happy with all the bits that I have. Most of this I've picked up along the way recently for summer holidays that I'm going on. I'm going away at the end of this month to Turkey with my family, then I'm off to New York, and then in August I've got a couple of holidays. So I wanted some new clothes, and I love summer clothes obviously, so had to be done. So I have pieces from Miss Selfridge, Zara obviously, because I love Zara, and Misguided, because I was looking for like a going out summer dress. Those are the ones I'm not sure on, so you guys can help me with which dress is the nicest. But without much further ado, let's get into it. First of all, let's start with the top I'm wearing, which is from Miss Selfridge. I feel like Miss Selfridge are having a little moment right now. I feel like they've had many moments, but people have overlooked them. And I am here to give Miss Selfridge their time to shine. I absolutely love this top. I think it's so cute. It's a little bardo style. It's got like a kind of knot bow situation going on. It's structured around the bra area so it gives you a little bit of shape. absolutely love this thing. It's really flattering. I love the bardo style, especially for the summer. It gives you a bit of a decolletage thing going on. You can wear a nice little gold necklace with this or something, but I think it looks really nice with the tan. I love the yellow. Perfect for summer. And yeah, I love these little like elasticated sleeves. It means that they don't fall down, uh, but it has this nice kind of effect of sitting on the arms nicely. And what I also love is that Miss Selfridge's sizing is so bang on. I'm an eight, bought an eight, wear an eight, fits me perfectly. I wore it in the video with some white trousers that I got from Zara and this is actually how I wore this outfit the other day. So everything from Miss which is just not that expensive but the quality is so good. Next thing that's also from Miss Selfridge, again yellow, I'm feeling very yellow at the moment but I really like that for summer. Uh, it's a dress that I probably would never have picked up. I usually buy maxi dresses and I have them like one colour um, and never like tight to my body. I always have them like flowy, not sure why but I really liked this one on the website so I just picked this one up too. Love it. Love it. Very comfortable. Just little spaghetti straps here, a little bit of a V, and then it's buttoned all the way down. Yeah, all the way down. Um, but you can just throw it over because it's a little bit elasticated on the back. And it has frilly bits around kind of the underarm area, which is actually surprisingly flattering, which then goes round to the back and they've got a little hole in the back, which I just think adds a little bit of interest. It is a maxi dress, but it's not too long, so it's gonna be dragging on the floor, but it's just like that perfect length. So I really, really like this one. Next up is another dress from Miss Selfridge. It looks a little something like this. Nice little pink, and again, floral pattern. It's like kind of see-through and I wanna say perforated. It's got like texture to it. It has a little slip dress that comes underneath so you can't obviously see through it. It's got like layers of frills, it's got lots of stuff going on and I really like that. A very plain top, which I do like, so it's just a little V-neck, which makes it oh so comfortable. Yeah, I've been looking for dresses. At the moment, the weather is so hot that I just want dresses to chuck on go out. This is that kind of dress and that's what I bought it for. It's just a dress that actually just looks nice, kind of pretty, but really easy. So nothing, nothing too crazy, just an easy staple summer dress. I feel like this is that. I finished with all of the Miss Selfridge stuff. Let's move on to Zara. And actually, let me tell you what I did in Zara. This is hashtag not sponsored, hashtag wish it was. But what I did was I went onto the app. Let me show you. Okay, so I went onto the Zara app, and then when you come on it, it looks like this. And then on the side here, there's a little like barcode thing, and I just scanned my barcodes. Oh my goodness, because I tried these on, I really liked the pieces, and then the queue was massive, so I was like, I actually don't know if I can be bothered. Whilst I was queuing, I scanned all of the barcodes, put them on my app, put my PayPal in, got them sent home, bingo. I didn't have to carry bags around all day, didn't have to queue, and yeah, it was a bit awkward because like handing back all of my clothes, I actually forget it, I bought them online. That's what I did and I really enjoyed it and I'm definitely gonna do it again. So what I bought was, first thing is again, like as I was saying, I wanted a comfortable summer dress I can just slip on and it's done. Especially when I go on holiday in the evenings or during the day, I just want something that's really easy. So this dress is kind of like a teal color, just a little bit strappy here, straight down, which I wasn't sure would be flattering, but I actually think it is quite flattering and very, very, very two little slits on the side and then at the bottom just some cute black lace. I feel like the black lace really makes it. It has sort of a sexy feel to it even though it is just straight and no shape. I think it's because it's sort of like a nighty sort of material. I don't think it was that expensive. I think it was like 25 pounds or something but I will leave all of them in, just in the description box down below. I definitely think I'll be wearing this a lot throughout the rest of the summer. I just think like with the thin spaghetti straps it's always very flattering on the kind of chest collarbone area. Very dainty and yeah I really like this one. 
Um, next up from Zara is a little matching trouser set, which I very much enjoy. And I saw it on the hanger and just thought it was such a nice color, such a nice little pattern. I love the little stripes. It's kind of pastel-y, but shiny, which I think sort of look really nice on holiday in the evening. Um, but yeah, it goes like this, and then this side you just do up with a bow. And it also has a kind of slit down the back, which I think is really nice. And then the matching trousers were the bit that I wasn't entirely sure on. They're high-waisted, but they have quite a low crotch kind of see so i didn't know whether it made my legs look short but my mum said it was very nice so i decided to get that let me know what you think i think i'm gonna keep it i quite like it i don't know if i like the top tucked in or out yet but i will figure that out when i wear it i think with some nice heels or even my like pink sock boot things from Topshop, I think this would look nice. Maybe some like cool chunky earrings, I never wear earrings, but like clip-on earrings for me. I think I have some like shiny blue clip-on earrings, which I would quite like with this. The final thing that I got from Zara was not quite a maxi, but not quite a midi in between the two. Dress, it just goes around the neck like this and then straight down with a really nice kind of light stretchy material. Very, very flattering, very comfortable, very light. It was actually quite cheap. It was 19 pounds, which is quite good for Zara. Actually everything I got in this shop was actually quite affordable. I also got this in a medium, which is one size up from my usual size. I usually go for a small or extra small, but because I, in the shop, they only had a medium, I tried it on, I quite liked the way it was like tight around my neck and then just sort of felt like it was quite elegant. It didn't like hug me anywhere, which I quite liked. So yeah, I went one size up in this, if you wanted to know how I got the sort of fit that I got with this. I think again, it will look nice for the evenings or on holiday. Now moving on to misguided. So I wanted something for, a nice evening when you're out on holiday because I have lots of pieces like that where it's like not that dressy but a nice dinner. Then I wanted something for like nice dinner and then going out on holiday. Something that's cool in terms of temperature and something that also looks nice. This on Misguided. Misguided does really good party pieces if you're ever looking for party pieces. But I find that I have so many kind of party dresses from Misguided that I've sort of done the styles that they have on there. So I wanted to try new styles that I haven't really had before. So I've got three different sort of styles for me. The first one is like this. It's this really nice kind of burnt orangey gold color, which I actually really like. I think that again, it's nice for the tan, keep saying that. I'm hoping I'm gonna get a tan. I really like these loose kind of straps. It's not very figure hugging, which I also quite like. I think that's slightly more flattering on my figure. Obviously they have loads of style, so go have a look. But I've got another one that's more figure hugging if you're into that sort of thing. With like a little knot at the front. I'm not sure if it's a bit baggy around the boobage area for me. I don't really know why it's so, so much material there. I think they've got this in a size eight. Got this in a size eight. I love the fit. It's not too short, but it's not too long. It's kind of perfect for a night out length. I thought this was really flattering and I love the color, but I'm not sure about the boobage area. I'm not sure let me know and the next one was a little bit more out there and quite tight feel like the material also isn't the flat most flattering all the time depends how the light hits you it's this silver metallic -y kind of dress which i actually think is really really cool but i don't know i don't know if it's flattering or not on the stomach i feel like it shows up every movement of your stomach it has a slit down the bottom which i really like so it gives you a little bit of movement as well just kind of stretchy thin straps over the shoulders really simple but also kind of a standout statement dress which i really like it's a midi style which i also really like more of a midi for the evening because i think that's more flattering on me and i feel a little bit more secure the final one was not really for the same sort of purpose i don't really know why i bought this dress i just thought it was quite interesting so this is the final dress that i bought i felt like i had quite dior vibes the boobage cup a little bit big for me, but didn't seem to matter. It's not like too big, it just looks a bit big on my body. This is a size eight though. Very much like a Bella Hadid Dior dress. So it's clear here and then it's got kind of paneling and then it has a see-through kind of skirt and it has a little slip underneath. The slip skirt bit is just very, very short. I actually really, really like the way this looks, but I think I need to somehow make that underneath skirt a bit longer. It literally sits at the very, very bottom of my bum. I would feel much more secure if it was just probably this much longer. I do actually really like this one. I think it looks a lot more expensive than it is. I like this kind of strap situation going on. Very Dior. So yeah, I really like this one. Not sure where I'd wear it, but I thought I had to get it whilst I was on Misguided. So that brings us to the end of my summer collective haul and try on. I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. I'll put all of the products in the description box down below. And obviously I will be taking all of these pieces away with me on holiday. And if you're not following me on Instagram, you should have been already, but my Instagram handle is at Blaze Dyer, and you will see some of these pieces up on there. So yeah, hopefully I'll be vlogging some of my trips, so if you're into vlogs, you should also stay tuned over here. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, and I will see you in 
my next video.